Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For the purposes of this video, we are going to show you how you can get level 10 fishing without fishing. This is going to change the way you play Stardew Valley from here on out. Because many people that play Stardew Valley don't like the fishing minigame. It can be very challenging at the start of the game. Not to worry though, we're going to show you some amazing tips in this video on how you can reach level 10 fishing without ever having to use a fishing rod. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to clear away the farm and we're trying to we're going to try to assemble as much stone here as possible and we also need a lot of space. And the reason why we need so much space is because we're going to put down a fishing pond. And that's going to get us lots of XP. So the first thing we're going to do here now is get access to the beach. We do get a cutscene where Willy gives us a lovely bamboo pole. We are going to put that in the bin because we're not going to be using fishing rods in this video. Let's check what the mats is for the fish pond. 5,000 gold, 200 stone, 5 seaweed and 5 green algae. The first part of the challenge is to assemble these mats without fishing them up out of the water. Thankfully we have selected the beach farm. One of the big perks with the beach farm is that you can get seaweed on your farm as a, as a forageable. We also go down into the mines here and we can farm green slimes for green algae. Now the green algae from the green slimes is rare. So we do have to fight quite a number of green slimes to get the first five green algae. So after we have assembled all the match required, we'll build our first fish pond here now. Now the great thing about fish ponds are that they give two lots of XP. The first lot of XP is given when you complete a quest for the fish pond. Depending on what kind of fish you put into the fish pond, uh, you know, it can give you one or two or three quests. And secondly, every time you loot something from the fish pond, you also get additional XP. So what we've done here now is we put a mussel into the fish pond because there's a chance that they give back seaweed. So that makes getting seaweed a lot easier for us. The next thing we have to do is get our forgeable skill up to level 5. That way when we pick up forgeables off the ground, for example seaweed, there's a chance we can get double seaweed. So that's our first fishing level up. Let's go back here now and make more fish ponds. So the next thing that we're going to put into a fish pond here now it needs to be something that will get back a green algae for us and there's a few fish in the game that do that but we need to get our hands on this fish uh, without fishing it up out of the water <laughs> so that is the next challenge let's see what we can do to get this so the traveling cart lady here actually sells a snail now she does rip us off at 700 gold but for the purposes of this challenge it's absolutely worth it because when we put the snail into the fish pond that has a chance to give us back green algae so we now have two fish ponds on the farm one has a chance to give us back seaweed and the other has a chance to give us back green algae. So we just got level 3 fishing here now and we're going to make crab pots. So crab pots can be expensive to make at the start but once you get level 5 fishing you can unlock a perk that will reduce the resource costs to make crab pots. And what we basically do is we basically go into the mines and we farm the mats to make hundreds of crab pots. Now, the crab pots alone give very, very little XP. One crab pot will give you just 5 XP when you loot an item from it, and this also includes trash items. However, if you accumulate hundreds of crab pots, you can accumulate hundreds, even thousands of XP every single day. So we just got level 5 fish in here now. We'll go with the trapper so we can make crab pots for far less resources. You've probably noticed as well that when we build these fish ponds, the fish pond builds instantly. And the reason for this is thanks to a mod called Instant Build. It allows us to make any building in this game instantly. The reason for this is because it saves time. So we're also going to put different types of fish into the fish pond. So we got a tilapia right there. And the reason why we're doing this is because it, some fish unlock more quests for us that we can do and that's going to get us even more XP. Also certain fish drop raw and they drop things that we can sell to make more money so we can get more fish ponds. So it's not, so it's basically you have to strike a balance between how many fish ponds you want that would give you green algae and seaweed and then how many fish ponds you want that are going to give you nice items that you can sell to get lots of money. As we can see here now we're, we've, we're going to get the puffer fish. We're also making a lot more crab pots. So by the end of this video, you're going to see literally hundreds of crab pots around the beach farm. And that's one of the great things about the beach farm is that you have the space to put down tons of crab pots without going outside of your farm. So you can more or less, you know, when it comes to fishing, stick to your farm and not venture out. You know, you don't have to waste time to go down to the beach, for example, or to go up to the lake. You can just fish at your farm all day if you want to. So we just got level fishing there now, and the trend continues of putting out even more 
crab pots. <laughs> and the great thing about these crab pots are, even though they're only giving us small bits of XP each, we're also making huge profits off these crab pots, because we're selling all the things that, that come with it. So as you can see here, now we have a farm, and it's, it's filled up to the top now with fish ponds. And eventually we'll stop putting down fish ponds because obviously if you're playing, you know, Stardew Valley yourselves, you don't want your farm to, you know, you don't want all the space to be taken up with fish ponds. So the amount of fish ponds you see here is, it's plenty enough to get the job done. Because at the end of the day, once you get level 10 fishing, if you want to, you know, get your space back, you can always destroy the fish ponds, you can always take up the crab pots. So that's, that's the great thing about these items, you know. It's not going to cost you an absolute cent to take them back up and to restructure your farm for aesthetic purposes or production purposes so as we can see here now we have an absolute mountain of crab pots that we're looting at the moment and you can also combine these crab pots with recycling machines because they give back an awful lot of trash and even if you, you know, there's a perk you can get level 10 fishing where they don't give trash but there's another perk also that comes with that where you don't have to put in bait my advice is to always take the perk where you don't have to put in bait because you can always just recycle the trash and you can get back some pretty nice items that way like soggy newspapers for example can be converted into cloth you know, uh, broken CDs and glasses can be converted into refined quartz. So, you know, they're really nice items to have. You can also get wood and coal back as well from the recycling machines. So it's a nice combination if you are thinking of doing your own fishing challenges and you want to make some extra money on the sides. You can just make yourself some recycling machines. And you can have them going with the crab pots. So we just got level 10 fishing there. And that is basically how you get level 10 fishing without having to fish up any fish at all in this game. The great thing about this method is that if you do want to fish but you're bad at it, you can actually start properly fishing then at level 10 fishing, making most of the fish in the game trivial. So I'm going to leave the video there. I will upload the next Stardew Valley video in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.